So last May, this building had no windows, it had no floors in it, this sidewalk was falling apart, uh, and it, it was uninhabitable. And so we replaced the roof, we put on the uh, rain catchment system coming down to this barrel. Every single roof on this campus will have a rain catchment system so that we have a third source of water on the campus. That water is going to be used predominantly for cleaning and for uh, watering the vegetables and stuff. And that way we're not wasting the well water on that type of pursuit. So come with me because this is an area that, that was really a nightmare. And the nightmare began the day the, the Islamists moved out and they decided that they were going to um, they were going to sabotage us. And so they poured cement and put all kinds of junk down in the toilet. And so we always knew that we were going to have to replace this. And because you gave, man, and because you gave for our matching funds, we were able to do it all at once. We built this huge septic tank. This actually covers part of the septic tank. septic tank about 10 feet deep and I said no let's expand it to the maximum uh, uh, size that we can do it so we don't have any problems with it all and this brand new facility I've never been here by the way I've never seen this this is my first time to walk up these steps right here so you're walking right along with me for my first time to see isn't this gorgeous so these are these are our showers look look at this Well, maybe. <laughs> they haven't turned the pump the, on. The, the water's back off. Yeah. But there's running water. For first time in history campus, one shower, two showers, three showers, four showers with running water in a, in a beautiful enclosure. Now, Bess and I, right now, today, uh, in the next two or three days, in the next 72 hours, we're going to go pick out all the tile. And so it's done really nice and classy. It has to have tile anyhow, but, uh, but to eliminate communication problems, we need to go buy that tile. And so we're gonna buy the tile. We're gonna go a little long on this one, Randy. Uh, so I've never been here before, and these are our new toilets. Now, we have these squatty potties. Uh, they're squatty potties, and, uh, and I don't particularly like using them, uh, and you probably wouldn't like to use them, but, and really they don't cost us much less than a, a Western toilet, but the, the people here are used to using these, and the exciting part is there's a flushing system. You know, the squatty potties they had here before, they had to bring water up from the borehole and pour the water that they schlepped up here uh, in, in five gallon cans down the hole to, to flush their feces away. And so we've got flushing squatty potties. One, two, three. And you see this right here? This, is a, this will be uh, a, a, a tiled in paved ramp. Uh, they're widening the door now, and this is going to be uh, one of our handicapped bathrooms uh, so that Pastor Canisius, when he comes, and others can move their wheelchairs in and out without impediment. And uh, in fact, the entire campus is going to have wheelchair ramps all throughout, and we're excited about that, that we're, we're essentially going to be handicapped appliant, uh, compliant. So let's keep going. Let's move around the corner. Randy's going to lead the way. Oh, there we have a, a hand washing sink which is exciting. The, the walls, look how beautiful these walls are. I mean, the, it's so much better than it used to be. And, and you guys helped. What you did was phenomenal. The, the help that we received is so awesome. I'm so appreciative. And, and thank you, thank you, thank you. And look, isn't this exciting? And we're going to go buy tile, like I said. We're going to make this, fix it up so it's really nice. But this is uh, for, uh, I'm thrilled. You know, it's hard to be thrilled about toilets, but I'm thrilled about toilets, dude. There's going to be kids here for years and decades to come. who are going to be blessed. They're going to be educated. They're going to be, have leadership skills developed. And we wanted to have them in a place that was clean and safe and and for them this is a huge upgrade over what they have in other schools in fact I've been asking around our guys that we have with us and ask any of them did you ever attend a, a school that had glass windows and not, I haven't met one Ugandan yet 
that, that grew up in the situation that we were bringing our kids from that attended a school with glass windows. So if you have glass windows, your stuff stays cleaner. Uh, you, you can keep nicer books. We want to have Kindles for the kids so that they can have electronic access to libraries. And you can't do that if you're facing dust all the time. And so we are so excited about this and it's awesome. And I hope that you can see what God is doing here and what he's used you to help us do.